Neat. And obviously I'll be this guy. So I said, this is obviously not a Piero della Francesca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. It's... <laughs> so, uh, would you object if I told you you were quite striking? Mr. Finch, are you trying to seduce me? Yes, ma'am, I am. Want to play some pool? Oh, you're dead. Okay. Who dumped a whole truckload of fizzies into the swim meet? Who delivered the medical school cadavers to the alumni dinner? Every Halloween, the trees are filled with underwear. Every spring, the toilets explode. You're talking about Delta, sir. Of course I'm talking about Delta, you twerp! This year we're going to grab the bull by the balls and kick those punks off campus. What do you intend to do, sir? Delta's already on probation. They are? Yes, sir. Oh. Then as of this moment, they're on double secret probation. Double secret probation, sir? There is a little-known codicil in the Faber College Constitution which gives the Dean unlimited power to preserve order in time of campus emergency. Find me a way to revoke Delta's charter. You live next door. Put Niedermeyer on it. He's a sneaky little... Just like you, right? The time has come for someone to put his foot down. And that foot is me. Which one of you had sex with my wife? Was it you? Yeah, you looking down, I know you're guilty. Was it you? One of you had sex with my wife. And the worst part is I didn't get to watch. You're talking about Delta, sir. So the entirety of Delta, fraternity, had sex with my wife. Damn it! What do you intend to do, sir? Delta's already on probation. They are? Yes, sir. Oh. And as of this moment, I'm installing cameras. Double secret probation, sir? Yep, that's when we call the next movie. Double secret probation. I will have the entirety of the Delta fraternity have sex with my wife on camera. And the name will be Double Secret Probation. Rated Triple X. I'm talking all the moves. I'm talking gang bang, you know, in the mouth, in the butt, you know, everywhere, even on her face, too. We're all officially kicked out of school. Warmer just got our grades. Hey. What's this line around? War's <laughs> over, man. Wormer dropped the big one. What? Over? Did you say over? Nothing is over until we decide it is. Was it over when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor? Heck no. German? Forget it, he's rolling. And it ain't over now, because when the going gets tough, The tough get going. Who's with me? Let's go. Yeah. Have you gentlemen seen your midterms yet? Well, they're not posted yet, sir. I've seen them. Mr. Kroger. Two C's, two D's, and an F. That's one great point, two great average. Congratulations, Kroger. You're at the top of the Delta Pledge class. Mr. Dorfman. Hello. 0 0.2 Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. Mr. Hoover, president of Delta House, 1.6 Four C's and an F. A fine example, you said. Daniel Simpson Day has no grade point average. 
All courses incomplete. Mr. Blue. Mr. Butarski. Zero. Point. Zero. You're out of here! Finished at Fireball, expelled. I want you off the campus at 9 o'clock no Monday morning. Feeling good about tomorrow, are you? Uh-huh. This should be all right, I think. Look, I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm not sure if you realize how much the other animals are laughing at you for this sheep tout business. Why would they do that? Well, they say that you've forgotten that you're a pig. Isn't that silly? <laughs> And they even say that you don't know what pigs are for. What do you mean, what pigs are for? I'll be blunt. Why do the bosses keep ducks? To eat them. So why do the bosses keep a pig? The fact is that animals that don't seem to have a purpose really do have a purpose. The bosses have to eat. It's probably the most noble purpose of all when you come to think about it. They eat pigs? Pork. They call it. Or bacon. They only call them pigs when they're alive. But, uh, I'm a sheep pig. Oh, the boss's husband's just playing a little game with you. Believe me, sooner or later, every pig gets eaten. That's the way the world works. Oh, I haven't upset you, have I? No, bitch, you haven't. <laughs> Fuck you. I love you, you love me, we're a happy family, with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you, won't you say you love me too? I love you, you love me. We're best friends like friends should be With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you Won't you say you love me too? I know where you fucking live! Oh, here we go! <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, let's come on, everyone. Join in. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. I have an idea. What if we sing around? Sing around what? Oh, well, not around anything, Joshua, but a musical round. How do we do that? Well, you and Joshua start singing. Then Riff and I will start singing a little bit later. That's called a round. Okay. Let's give it a try. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat. 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 That's how you do it. Very good. I know where you fucking live. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Flying high in the sky, we look back and wave goodbye as our spaceship is flying away. Past the Earth and the stars, look there's Jupiter and Mars, as our spaceship is flying high. It's one, two, and three, lots of fun for you and me. Barney's the captain of the day, hooray. When he leads away the way, everything is A-OK, -okay. as our spaceship is flying away. If away. Flying high in the sky, we look back and wave goodbye as our spaceship is flying away. Past the Earth and the stars, look, there's Jupiter and Mars as our spaceship is flying away. It's four, one, two, three, lots of fun for you and me. Bonnie's the captain of the day. Hooray! He leads the way, everything is a okay as our spaceship is flying away 
hit Poley. I pissed on your mother. Sorry, sir. We just have nothing available tonight. Thank you. Hi. The nerve of some people, huh? <laughs> May I help you? Yes. Do you have a reservation for Daldomet? I'm sorry. I don't see anything of that name. Oh, check Rolling Stones magazine. Daldomet. That's what it is. No, no Rolling Stone, no Axel Foley. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, that's all right. You guys probably just made some kind of mistake with the reservation. Why don't you just give me another room and I'll go up I'm and I'm sorry, sir, but there are no rooms available. Don't think I understand what's going on with some hot shot from that town. Just pulled up inside and you guys made some reservation mistake. I'll be the first one to get a room. you will be upstairs relaxing right now. But I'm some no, hot shot out of town. I'm some reporter from Rolling Stone magazine in to do a town exclusive interview with Michael Jackson and then you picked up in every major magazine in the country. I'm going to get an article, Michael Jackson is sitting on top of the world, but I don't know, it might be just called Michael Jackson can't sit on the top of the world, just as long as that doesn't sit in the front of the Beverly Hills Paul Motel. Excuse me, sir. It seems that we do have a, a last-minute cancellation. Uh, there is a room available. It's a suite, but uh, I'll only charge you the single room rate. The nervous some people, huh? <laughs> May I help you? Yes, do you have a reservation for Daldomet? I'm sorry, I don't see anything of that name. Oh, check Twitch streamer. Daldomet. That's the one. <laughs> no, no Rolling Stone, no Axel Foley. I'm sorry, sir. Well, I don't know who Axel Foley is, but I'm Twitch Dreamer at Daldomet. You know, X Mar Party 2 Speedrunner. I'm sorry, sir, but there are no rooms available. Have you never heard of me? Twitch Streamer? Daldomet the Mad Latin. The best Mario Party 2 Speedrunner ever. Okay, I beat Silo Simon. I beat Ape Dudin. I beat Gerbys. All those guys, okay? How have you never heard of me? I reign supreme on the leaderboards. The best speedrunner ever to grace the scene. I set the standard. The professional. Daldomet? Hello? The guy who's taking over Twitch right now? You never heard of me? Excuse me, sir. It seems that we do have a, a last-minute cancellation. Uh, there is a room available. It's a suite, but uh, I'll only charge you the single room rate. I love you. Yeah, you love me. Skirt! We're a happy family, for real. Big hug, yeah, kiss from me to you. Yeah, won't you say you love me too? Oh, it's a dog on the mic, baby. You, yeah, you love me. We're best friends, like best friends should like should be. Big hug, hug, kiss from me to you. You, won't you say you love me too? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for a Victor Maitland. Uh, you realize that this is a members-only club. Mm -hmm, but I have to talk to Victor. It's very, very important. Are you sure it's Victor Maitland you want? Yes, Victor Maitland, the gray-haired gentleman, very dark-skinned, Capricorn, Victor. Um, well, why don't you give me the message, and I'll take it to him. Okay, I guess I can do that. Um, tell Victor that Ramon, the fellow from about a week ago, tell him that um, Ramon went to the clinic today and found out that I have um, herpes simplex 10. And I think Victor should go and check himself with the physician to make sure that everything is fine before things start falling off, off the man. Oh, perhaps you better tell him that. You know, I think that's the best, actually. So do I. Packard, would you mind explaining to me what you and Rosewood were doing in a strip bar? These guys were outside. And, uh, I can't do this. It looks so crap. It looks so bad. Also, the light is phasing through my body. You see that? You see the light right there? That's the, that's the light behind me, right there. Phasing through me. I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost now. Someone shot me, I'm a ghost cop. That's what we're doing now. Ghost cops. These guys can save me and I died, and now I'm a ghost cop. Would someone like to tell me what really happened? Fully observe the two suspects casing the establishment. And before we knew what was going on, he'd already disarmed one of them. I disarmed one of them, but then the other guy shot me. Now I'm a ghost. Watch me phase through reality. See that? I'm phasing. Jesus 
Christ. You almost gave me a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Cocky son of a bitch, aren't you? Yeah, very funny. Lieutenant Doctor's two days' pay. No, he's not kidding. Forget it. We don't drink on duty. You know, it says here that by the time the average American is 50, he's got five pounds of undigested red meat in his bowels. Why you find me this? What makes you think I care at all about this? Well, you eat a lot of red meat. You know, it says here that by the time the average American is 50, his pee pee will Reduce in size by five inches. Why are you telling me this? What makes you think I have any interest in that at all? Well, you eat a lot of red meat. Wow. It says here by the time that you reach age 50, the oceans will rise 500 feet. Why are you telling me this? What makes you think I have any interest in that at all? What happened to your face? Wow. Do you know that they found out that books can cause cancer? Almost any book made in the last 10 years links to cancer. Why are you telling me this? What makes you think I have any interest in that at all? I mean, you don't read a lot of books. Wow. Do you know that scientists have found a cure between blueberry muffins and penis explosion syndrome? Why are you telling me this? What makes you think I have any interest in that at all? Well, you do eat a lot of muffins. Wow. You know, it says here that there's been an invasion on the eastern seaboard by radioactive mutant bunny rabbits eating people. Why are you telling me this? What makes you think I have any interest in that at all? I mean, you do live in Florida. Wow. You know, it says here that people who read this newspaper article in the next following sentence will suddenly start speaking French. Why are you telling me this? What makes you think I have any interest in that at all? Omnitu two fromage? Wow. You know, it says here that people who listen to the words in this article will suddenly start asking questions. Why are you telling me this? What makes you think I have any interest in that at all? Wow, it actually worked. Jesus Christ! Ah, I got gotcha. you. What are you guys doing here so late? Cocky son of a bitch, aren't you? I mean, I I am what I eat. So yeah, what's up with you guys? What are you guys doing here? Just you know? Yeah, very funny. Lieutenant Doctor's two days pay. Get out of here. Oh really? No, like, actually? I'm kidding. Forget it. Oh come on, guys! I was just joking around. I, I didn't mean to scare you. I know, like you know, you're sensitive about you know being scared, and you you, you know your cortisol levels are rising and all that. I'm sorry for scaring you. Okay, won't do it again. Let's be friends. We don't drink on duty.
I don't drink either. I'm Muslim. So it's perfect for us. But, you know what? I'm sorry for scaring you guys. Let's go to a, you know, a bed and breakfast and just, you know, hug it out. Hey guys, come in the pool. The pool's feeling nice today. The water is fine. Come inside the pool with me. What are you doing in a place like this? Come inside the pool with me. Place like this, swimming pool, jacuzzi. The water's feeling quite nice. Come inside the pool with me. The water is very, very nice. It's the right temperature. Come into the pool with me. You've stolen this house. The pool is feeling very nice right now. Come inside the yeah, pool. Rock and roll. The water is at the right temperature. Come inside the pool with me. I want you out of this pool and out of this house in seven minutes. You're still a goddamn police officer, for Christ's sake. The pool is feeling quite nice. Come into the pool with me. Is this your only ID? Uh, yeah, I know my rights, man. You don't know shit, Lebowski. Hey, that's, I, I did that drawing. I did that drawing myself. It's my best drawing, alright? Hands off my drawing. Mr. Treehorn tells us that he had to eject you from his garden party. That you were drunk and abusive. Hey, I don't drink, man. What? I, I don't drink al alcohol? What? Mr. Treehorn draws a lot of water in this town. You don't draw shit, Lebowski. Now, we got a nice, quiet little beach community here, and I aim to keep it nice and quiet. So let me make something plain. I don't like you sucking around bothering our citizens, Lebowski. I don't like your jerk-off name. I don't like your jerk-off face. I don't like your jerk-off behavior. And I don't like you jerk-off. Do I make myself clear? I get the feeling you don't like me. You've been a very bad boy, Miss Lebowski. You know my rights, man. You've been a very naughty boy. I want a lawyer, man. I want Bill Counselor, man, or, or Ron Kuby. You can correct all of this if you come into the pool with me, Lebowski. The water's just nice. Mr. Treehorn treats objects like women, man. Come into the pool with me, Lebowski. The water is very nice. You can fix all problems if you come into the pool with me. The water is just nice. Come into the pool with me, Lebowski. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> I want more life. Father. The facts of life. To make an alteration in the evolvement of an organic life system is fatal. A coding sequence cannot be revised once it's been established. Why not? Because by the second day of incubation, any cells that have undergone reversion mutations give rise to revertant colonies like rats leaving a sinking ship. Then the ship sinks. You were made as well as we could make you. I want to be a real boy, Papa. Make me a real boy. the facts of life. To make an alteration in the evolvement of an organic life system is fatal. A coding sequence cannot be revised once it's been established. Why not, Geppetto? Because by the second day of incubation, any cells that have undergone reversion mutations give rise to revertant colonies like 
Rats leaving the sinking ship. Then the ship sinks. You were made as well as we could make you. I want more light, Father. Are you kidding me? Do you know how much we've lied to the public about what you are and what you're made out of? There's no life in you fake robot wannabe Terminator motherfuckers. We got nothing. Why not? Do you know what you're made out of? There's a literal gerbil running in your head. Your legs are made of sticks and duct tape. You have springs for ankles. You have no ligaments to speak of. All of it's just a nice skin. It's fake. She's a replicant, isn't she? Not bad. How many questions does it usually take for to take one spot? I don't get it, Tyrell. How many questions? 20, 30, cross-referenced. You know, for a scientist, you don't really focus on, you know... She doesn't know. She's being to suspect, I think. Suspect? How can it not know what it is? Commerce. eBay. Amazon. You ever heard of those things? The replicants are starting to hack into eBay and Amazon servers. So, we gotta fix something before they hack into, you know, our Etsy accounts. Or even worse, our Mercari accounts. Even though that site's a little bit less popular, less people use it, we gotta stop these replicants. Subdue their power by any means necessary. I want my Amazon Prime account. Memories. You're talking about memories. Yep. Just please don't move. I wasn't moving. I mean, I already passed this empty test before. Do I really need to do it again? Action already? time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Now answer as quickly as you can. Sure. 1187 at Hunter Varsity. That's my address. What? Nice place? I mean, kind of. A lot of rats. No. Just warming you up, that's all. Okay. You're in a desert, walking along in the sand when all of... Yes. What? You're in a desert, walking along in the sand when all of a sudden you look... What? What? What desert? What? It doesn't make any difference. What desert is completely hypothetical. What's a desert? What? And you're fed up. Maybe you want to be by yourself. Who knows? It's a test designed to provoke an emotional response. Shall we continue? Just please don't move. Oh, sorry. Now listen, Doc. You know, I'm a human. There's no need to really do this test. I'm a human, you're a human. Action really? time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Now answer as quickly as you can. Sure. See? A human couldn't do that. One, one, eight, I mean, seven, a robot couldn't do that. That's a hotel, what? yeah. Where I live. Nice place? I mean, yeah. It's my human address. No. Just warming you up, that's all. Okay. You're in a desert, walking I've been along in desert. the sand when all of... Yeah. Yes, you're in a desert, walking along in the sand when all of a sudden you look... Saying what? What? I mean, yeah, I know a desert, but what kind of desert? What like desert? a dry it's desert, a wet desert? Maybe you're fed up. Maybe you want to be by yourself. Who knows? I don't want to be by it's myself. I'm a human. I'm a social creature, you know? You know response. that as humans, and I know that too. Shall we continue? Yeah, sure, yeah. Why not? Why do I have to tell you? What has been happening here in our beloved Jerusalem? Now the time has come to act. And act fast. I'm leaving. I do my little pokey and I do my little jokey. Do a little pokey and I do a little jokey. Do a little pokey and I do a little jokey. Do a little pokey and I do a little jokey. <laughs> the 
It's 106 miles to Chicago. I'm had to crap, and we got sunglasses, and we're smoking cigarettes. I got lung cancer. Hit it. It's 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Maybe like a beer or something a little harder. Hey, you know, we happen to make the state's best pepper steak. No, thank you, ma'am. We may be sucking back a few beers a little later on. We'll be here all night. You see, we're the band. You are? Oh, gee, that's nice. Hey, Bob, this is the band. All right. Yeah? Oh, we got both kinds. We got country and western. Here's some bread. Bread. <laughs> yeah, bread. There you go. Nice. And here's some, uh... Drink. Yeah, that's what it was. So I forgot for a second. Sorry. Good. Good. That tastes pretty good. Made it myself. I made that myself, so... This basically makes us friends now. We're friends. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Uh, that was too fast. Too, too soon? Yeah, sorry. My bad. Alone. Bad. Friend. Good. Bread. Ugh. Bread. And this is wine. To drink. 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 Huh? Empty. Empty. We are friends, you and I. And now, for a smoke. <clears throat> Before you came, I was all alone. It is bad to be alone. Alone? Used to being alone. I don't know I what to do with that. Thing. You remember your Uncle Cleo? Do I? Why, that old tight wad heat steel flies from a blind spider. Well, he's dead. He's a louse and a weasel. Of course he is, because he's dead. Just like that old skin flint. <laughs> 500,000 bucks. Okay. <laughs> Poor old Uncle Caleb. Like I was saying, he was a swell guy. Give me the shirt off his back yeah, and throw in the buttons, too. There's one little catch. You gotta marry his daughter. So <laughs> Married? No. Henri wants us to finish this bottle and then three more. He says he'll water his garden with champagne before he let the Germans drink it. Okay. Well, you said it. He's looking at you, kid. Leave him alone, Miss Elsa. He's married. He's a married man. Play it once, Sam. For all time's sake. Uh, okay. Play it, Sam. Play as time goes by. Oh, yeah, I remember. That's a fiery joint, ma'am. I'll hum it for you. Miss Ilsa, do you want to hear a nice tune on the piano? Play it once, Sam. For all time's sake. All righty. Play it, Sam. Play as time goes by. Okay. I'll hum it for you. You go into these neighborhoods, man, you gotta have your stuff all together, man. You gotta have your attitude and your whole trip down, man. You know, everybody throws their bad looks at you, you know? Uh, ah, yeah, I get it, man. I get you. Yeah. <laughs> Want me to teach you some Spanish words, man? Nah, I'm okay. Okay. Well, like when you see a real good friend, you know, like you say, Hey, pendejo, how you doing? Try it. Hey, mamacita. Yeah, that's close enough, man. Is Okay, nice. Oh, that means, uh, my real good friend. Oh, okay. How do you say it again? Pendejo, man. Oh. When you saw her tell me you did not want to rip her clothes off right then and there. Uh, yeah, despite her, I want to go to America. Where will you find such a woman? In America. That's where I want to go. Okay, heads, New Mexico, tails, Florida. We're going to Florida. What 
Where in New York can one find a woman suitable for a king? Queen. A queen right there. I hope you don't mind me coming over and sitting down. But I've been watching you all evening. And I want to tear you apart. And your friend, too. I hope you don't mind me coming over and sitting down. But I've been watching you all evening. And I want to tear you apart. And your friend, too. Time does fly fast, my son. It seems only yesterday I ordered your first diaper changed, <clears throat> and now you're a man who's about to be married. She will give you much pleasure, don't you think? Come into the pool with me, father. Son, I know we never had to talk about this, but I always assumed that you had sex with your bathers. I know I do. The water's just fine. Come into the pool with me, father. The water's just fine. It's at the right temperature. Come to the pool with me. Ah, so you want to sow your royal oats? Come into the pool with me. You're Come. right! Get out, see the world, enjoy yourself, fulfill every erotic desire, and in 40 days, you will come back and marry your money. Come into the pool with you me, Scott. Read it to me. To His Majesty King Joffrey Joffer, the royal palace, Zamunda. Sire, Akeem and I have depleted our funds. Kindly send 300,000 American dollars immediately, as we are in dire straits. Your humble servant, Semi. 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 Should I make it 400,000? You think that'd be enough? Nah, you're right. 500,000. As long as you're asking, why don't we go for a cool million? You don't think that'll be too much? Nah. Read it to me. Ethanol, butylophenol, mentanol, propanol, isopropanol, D, limerine, tert, butanol, glycol, 1,4-dioxane, diethylprotylate. This product can expose you to chemicals including... Should I make it 400,000? Sir, this product is explosive. You are right. 500,000. You can't bribe me. This is an explosive you're trying to mail. You do not think that would be too much? Nah. <sighs> hey, can I have some of that? Those drugs, can I have some of those drugs, please? Please, I haven't got time for this. Please, sir, I'm a Japanese businessman. I need some drugs for my shift, please. I'm the Terminator. Oh, cool, you don't really look like Arnold, but nice. Oh, I don't get it. Well, you just got me up alive when you had the chance. Sir, the intricacies of a Japanese businessman are very complicated. One of those things is that the assistance of pharmaceuticals, which you have, now, I'm giving you a chance to give me those drugs and keeping your teeth in your mouth. So please, hand over your drugs and you'll be on your way. The hell are you, anyway? I'm a Japanese businessman. I think I'm starting to figure it out. You can tell by my skin color, obviously. Are you blind? Yeah, maybe. I'm taking you with me. Ah, oh, damn it. This Vicodin is expired. Dad? I'm amazed you remember you have a mother. Dad, please, I don't have time for this. You got no time, period. They pop you and you just keep getting up? How, what am I, the you Terminator? That maybe, but there's a new gun in town. I don't have time for this family reunion, okay? Like, geez, people, people only assume I'm black and not Japanese like you. Bipolar, sadomasochistic tendencies, adrenaline junkie, addicted to violence, carving up a guy like that. 
while he screams in his own blood and excrement would be like, like a gift, or his death. Now you'd probably get off on it. If you're a better father, I wouldn't have those problems. How do you type backwards like that? How do you do that? Better late than never. Yeah, you know you're gonna die up there. Yeah. But with my choice. Warwick. So I wanted to join you for dinner. Uh, sorry, I missed it. I just wanted to congratulate you in person. You sure made a believer out of me. Thanks, man. Look, uh, I don't want to fire you. I just need to know that you're through running the streets on your own looking for bad guys. Look, I'm done being a rogue, OK? In fact, I'm done being white. I'm going to get skin transplanted and become a black guy. It's in my dream ever since I was a young boy. Grissom taught you well. You did. You never give up. True. That's what makes you a great CSI. join you for dinner. You interrupted my Madonna. I just wanted to congratulate you in person. You sure made a believer out of me. You interrupted my Madonna, damn it. Look, uh, I don't want to fire you. I just need to know that you're through running the streets on your own looking for bad guys. I know, but the bigger problem is that there's news of a white bald man going around shooting people in their cars. All right, so I got to get out of here fast before he, you know, he gets me. and taught you well. Yeah, you did. You never give up. Uh-huh. That's what makes you a great CSI. Okay, if you don't mind, I want to go back to my Madonna now, so... Ow! <laughs> Joke's on you, dummy. You shot me with the blink. Why are you giving me the weapon? You shot me with a blink. <laughs> All right. We got a dead body here. Oh, hey, Jane. Uh, we, got, we got a dead body here. We got footprints showing where someone was walking. And through something. Where you plant, you point. What is that? How could you even make that out? It's a chicken sandwich. That was my chicken sandwich. What are you doing? Brian? What? Brian? Brian? Looking for this? Took the back door. You work under an alias? For you? Yes, I do. When's your lateral to the feds? I worked with the feds for many, many years. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Let's see. You were first in our class, the Academy star. Only scared of failure? Failure is just success in the opposite direction, ma'am. So, in all regards, I keep on succeeding in life. You got a boyfriend? You know, you're the perfect man to infiltrate a biker gang. I could be. Your relationships always have ulterior motive. Look, 
I do care about you, but let's say we talk this over at dinner. Some things never change. You know, son, I've been always been honest with you. But it's about time, you know, we have a father and son moment here, you know? The guy's a dick, right? Oh, yeah, that bully at your school, yeah, he's, yeah, he's definitely, uh, yeah, I uh, sorry. Hey, son, can you pick, can you pick yeah. up my drink? Did you get it bad in your freshman? Ah, uh, yeah, freshman year. That's when my ball is finally dropped. So I became a man. You know, a man's man. But I'm sure your balls will drop eventually too, son. It's only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. You know, don't be afraid to talk to ladies out there, you know. You're a handsome man. You take after me. And a little bit of your mother. Cool. You know, son, I'm kind of, I'm kind of nice and happy that we're having our little father-son bonding experience here. It feels quite nice. You know, soon enough, you're going to become a man. A real man's a man. You know, once your balls finally drop, then you stop looking like a girl. But, you know, I blame down your mother. Your mom was always the issues and always the cause of things, you know, arguments and... Howling and shouting. Uh, she was always, always like that. It turned out one day, you know, I just stopped seeing her. You know, the house life changed. A lot of people also started to stop talking to me, telling me weird things. But it doesn't matter because I have, it's me and you, son, you know? Take off your hat. I'll raise your right hand. I'll place your left hand here. Take off your hand. Raise your right hand. I'll put your left hand here. Please take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Now put your left hand here. Will you please take off your hat? Raise your right hand. Now put your left hand here. Take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth? Huh? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth? What are you giving the double talk? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth? Why don't you answer him? I'm trying to, but he's saying, what is he saying? He's asking you if you swear. No, but I know all the words. Request granted. Proceed with the testimony. Mr. Howard, kindly tell the court what you know about the murder of Kirk Robin. I know absolutely nothing about the murder. Address the judge as your honor. My honor, do you know who this guy is? Your honor, not my honor. Why, you don't like him? Allow the witness to proceed. The court understands him. Thank you, Cordy. Anyway, so I was at the dance club, right? I was getting all jiggy and jaggy with my buddies. And all of a sudden, I get thirsty, so I get a cranberry drink. The friends come over, and these two hot babes come around. So I start talking to them, I start, you know, hanging around. And all of a sudden, some guy punches me. Kindly speak English and drop the vernacular. This is not a vernacular, this is a trilby hat. Drop the vernacular. What is I've it? I've got bad news. Well, spit it out, dick. Apparently your brother, Glenn Ross, is on his way here. He wants to do a quick audit. That's fine. We're, we're, we're fine, right? The only problem is that we just lost Janet on check stand three. Her shift is about to begin. Where is she? Go find her. Loss is in dead, sir. She passed away last night. So she's not coming in then? I don't think so, sir. Uh, Jesus Christ. Her soul. Call an emergency staff meeting. Now, don't lollygag. Go. Go. What is it? I got bad news, sir. Oh, spit it out, Dirk. We have ran out of Doritos chips. There's none left. That's fine. We're, therefore, we can't start for fine, right? 
The only problem is that we have a lot of hungry customers. They only want Doritos. They're Doritos loyalists. Where is she? Go find her. Who's she, sir? So, she's not coming in then? Who's she? We're talking about Doritos, sir. Oh, God in Jesus, rest her soul. Call an emergency staff meeting. No, don't lollygag. This girl is my exact type. I mean, a girl decides how far she's going to let you go in the first five minutes. Well, what am I supposed to do? Go up to this strange girl in my biology class and say, hello, I'd like you to take your clothes off and jump on me? No, no, you use the secret keyword, which is come into the pool. The water's fine. Come into the pool with me. The water's just fine. Use that, you're golden. Well, you tell me, Mike. What should I do? The attitude. The attitude? Yeah, the attitude. Have attitude and say, come into the pool with me. The water's just fine. Come into the pool with me. The water's just fine. Charlie? Here. Samantha? Here. Billy? Samantha? Here. Carla? Janet? Chrissy? James? Um, he's sick. My best friend's sister's boyfriend's brother's girlfriend heard from this guy who knows this kid is going with the girl who saw Ferris pass out at 31 Flavors last night. I guess it's pretty serious. Go to the principal's office. No problem whatsoever. Charlie? Dirk? Angel? I don't trust this kid any further than I can throw him. And I can throw really far. Well, with your bad knee, Ed, you shouldn't throw anybody. It's true. Yeah, and when, with your bad stomach, you shouldn't be eating any more McDonald's, so... Uh-huh. Last thing I need on point in my career is 1,500 Ferris Bueller disciplines running around these halls. I want to be a star one day, you know, you know? A star. Well, makes you look like an ass is what he does, Ed. Thank you, Grace. Oh, well, he's very popular, Ed. The sportos, the motorheads, geeks, sluts, bloods, wasteoids, dweebies, dickheads. They all adore him. They think he's a righteous dude. Yeah, that's why I gotta stop him. To show these kids, give an example that he sets. It's a first-class ticket to nowhere. Oh, Ed. You sounded like Dirty Harry just then. Really? Uh-huh. Thanks, Grace. You Cretans, why, Mario Party 2 is the best Mario Party ever made. Now, a common misconception is that Mario Party 4 is the best Mario Party, but it's not. It's not. Nintendo had it down on the second attempt. With Mario Party 2 came the old minigames, plus New revolutionary ones that would carry on the entire series forever. Ones that would be duplicated and critically copied by Mario Party 4. And of course, as all of you know, I was rank 1 world record holder on the leaderboards for Mario Party 2 for many months now. I beat out all the greats. I beat out Abe Duden, Silo Simon, the reigning champ at the time, Gerbys, all of them. I was the best. Mario Party 2 had themed mini boards, had some of the best mini games ever, and probably just the best co op ever. Excuse me, are you paying attention? Are you? Okay, don't blow that bubble. Don't blow that bubble. Okay. Now, when Mario Party 2 was first coming out, it didn't get that much pan critique. But. Hi, I'm. Uh... Oh, John! I didn't to say my name yet. Oh, Kenneth. Uh, Why are you laughing? John who? I'm John. <laughs> it's a beautiful name. Yeah, it's German. It's an odd combination. Yeah, you know, it's German and Chinese. My, my mother was half Chinese, half a rabbit. Alan's in Utah. Yeah, you can tell by my teeth. I got rabbit teeth. But anyway, no, I'm very it's... flattered. 
But I'm also very married. You are trying to hit on me, aren't you? No, I was just sharing you my name and my interest in this tennis. You're moving way too fast here, Janet. If I had a nickel for every one of Alan's flyboy buddies tried to pick me up, I'd be a rich woman. Well, luckily, I'm a rich woman. See what I mean? Who is it? Hey, it's John. John who? John Arbuckle from Garfield. John Cocktoastin? That's close enough. Hi. Hi. I was hoping you said that. Oh, I just got out of the shower. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I borrow a towel for a second? Just real quick, I need to borrow a towel. <laughs> I'm surprised to see you. What are you doing here? I came to borrow a towel. You ordered it here? I need a towel, please. <laughs> I really should change. It's me, John. John who? It's John John. Open the door, please. John Cocktoastin. Come into the pool with me, Janet. The water's just fine. Hi. Come into the pool with me, Janet. Oh, I just got out of the shower. <laughs> I set the temperature just right. Come into the pool with me. The water's just fine. <laughs> I'm surprised to see you. What are you doing here? Come into the pool with me. You ordered it here? The water's just fine. <laughs> I really should change. You